Jumbo, everyone, and welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village. Today, Emily and I are staying here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village, which is the DVC side of Animal Kingdom Lodge because Jumbo House, which is the normal side of Animal Kingdom Lodge, does not open up until August 26th. So this will be our first time staying here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Let us know down below in the comments what is your favorite Disney resort. But guys, we are so excited to stay here and we cannot wait. Let's go inside and check it out. Here is the front entrance of Kadani Village, everyone. The Porta Cashier, this is where Magical Express buses. This is where you can pull up, park, go inside to check in, as well as they do have valet here so off here to the left or right of the main entrance whichever way you are looking at it is the buses to the disney parks you take these steps down here go off to the left and you have all the disney buses that go to magic kingdom animal kingdom epcot hollywood studios and this is uh, the bus that you take to animal kingdom to get to blizzard beach and there's also buses here that take you to disney springs I do also want to point out everyone that Jumbo House, even though it is technically not fully open, the DVC side of Jumbo House is open, so you can take this walkway all the way around, as well as the shuttle that Animal Kingdom Lodge does provide to each side of the resort. Jumbo House has an amazing pool, and that is also where the quick service place, the Mara, is. Just behind the bus pickup area, everyone, is the parking lot. You can either park outside here, or inside the garage so there are five different sections of the parking lot here everyone there's the outside section then there are four sections inside timon rafiki pumba and zazu these are all sectioned off towards different parts of the resort so when you're checking in make sure to go inside to the desk and ask which parking area is closer to your room so that way you don't have a far walk so everyone that is the main entrance of kadani village we're about to head inside but i did want to point out if you go to the right of the main entrance or left, depending on which way you're looking at it, is how you get to the pool here. But Emily and I are going to go there later after we check into our room and go show you a full room tour. Um, so don't worry about that. We will definitely get to the pool because Kidani Village has one of my favorite slides <laughs> here at Disney. Welcome home. Here is the main lobby inside of Kidani Village. Across the way over there is where you can check in. But remember, you can still check in through the My Disney Experience app. Over off to the left, everyone, is the Bell Services Desk, as well as the Resort Airline Check-In, in case you did fly here to Walt Disney World. Even though this lobby is fairly small because it is the DVC side of Animal Kingdom Lodge, it still has a ton of cool things to offer. Let's uh, walk around and check some of these cool things out. To the right of the entrance, everyone, is Johari Treasures, which is the gift shop here inside of Kadali Village. Now, currently, it is the only gift shop open on all property of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge because not all of Jamba House is open. Here inside Johari Treasures, everyone, is things that you can pick up, such as merchandise, snacks, drinks, little things you can bring to your room because some of the rooms here in Kidani Village do have a kitchen inside where you can cook some food. They even have some exclusive Animal Kingdom Lodge merchandise, which means I might have to pick something up while I stay here because as you all know, I used to work here as a lifeguard. Here in the lobby, they also have a TV that you can sit down and watch and relax either while you're waiting for your room to be ready or waiting uh, to leave. Walt Disney World. The hallway off to the right of Johari Treasures, everyone, is where you can find the library, community room, and the arcade. Let's go check it out. Here is the Safari So Good Arcade. Tons of game options here, everyone. It is very, very loud. Tons of game options. But here is the area where you can buy or recharge your game cards. I spent countless times in here testing and playing games when I worked here as a recreation lifeguard. Now walking to the level underneath the lobby is Sanaa. Sanaa, one of the best restaurants on Disney property. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner options here at Kidani Village. Now Sanaa is one of the only restaurant options here inside of Kidani Village. Um, all the other restaurant options are going to be over at Jumbo House, but unfortunately, besides the Mara, which is the quick service place, the rest of them are currently closed until Jumbo House officially reopens to the public 
on August 26th. We also just snagged these in the gift shop, everyone. These things are called zebra domes. One of the best snacks you can get in all of Walt Disney World, a hidden treasure here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. If you're staying here, you gotta come get these. Get yourself a zebra dome. Here is the Savannah, right behind the main lobby, everyone. Here you can see a bunch of different animals that they have here at Animal Kingdom Lodge. You can come all the way out. It looks like they have an animal guide out here giving some facts to guests. Just off of the lobby, everyone, is another viewing deck of the Savannah. Our room is finally ready, room 7642. Let's head on inside and check it out. Before we get into the room tour, everyone, I just wanted to say that we are staying in a deluxe studio here at Kadani Village with a Savannah view. Just wanted to give the room type we are staying in, just in case you are looking into booking a room here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. But enough of that, let's get to the room tour. As soon as you walk into the room on the left hand side here, you kind of have a mini kind of kitchen, microwave, you know, you have cabinet space up here. Looks like they do give you some utensils, which is cool. Uh, paper plates, bowls up here, very nice. Ice bucket, little mini cups. You have paper towels. Here is a microwave, toaster, coffee maker. You have different types of coffee from Joffrey's, creamer, sugar, coffee cups. Up here is, you know, paper towel roll because some people do stay here more than just one night obviously you have you know washcloth sponge soap here you have a mini fridge and then down beneath the sink a trash can here next to the little mini kitchen is a door looks like this could be a conjoining room in case you are staying with some family or friends another trash can right here just in case you need another one then on the right side of the room is the bathroom this thing looks amazing i love how the lights are on the side giant mirror here you know we always gotta wave inside the mirror you have tons of room for storage down here extra towels tissues another trash can you know just in case i guess if you have a lot of trash sink you know you have the h2o beauty line you have facial soap lotion washcloth a mirror that comes out on the wall just in case you know gotta do your makeup or something extra washcloths and then here behind the door is the actual you know half shower and half bath area up here you have you know the hanging rack just in case you need to dry some clothes while you are here and then back here is the h2o beauty line shampoo conditioner and body wash all in the pump styles then on the other side of the bathroom which is what i really like here Another mirror, full length mirror. You can check yourself out before going to the parks. Gotta check that park fit. You know what I'm talking about? But this is the separate kind of door to the toilet. Let's turn on the light here. Oh, it took a while to turn on the light. But yes, the separate room for the toilet. I do like this because you can have a lot more privacy in the bathroom. Just shut this door off. Someone can go to the bathroom there. Someone can take a shower in here, do their hair, makeup, brush their teeth, do whatever. But I do love that the bathroom and you know shower area are separated which is kind of nice huge plus here just outside the bathroom everyone here is a little tiny closet extra pillows and blankets for the pullout couch which i will show you all in a little bit ironing board iron and a safe here is an overview look of the room here in the deluxe studio at disney's animal kingdom lodge kadani village but let's get more of a detailed view around the room first thing on the left everyone looks like another closet here you have separate sides here, you know, one for hanging, one you can kind of store some things. Ooh, that door is closing. But yeah, nice. It's huge. You can literally store tons of things in here, like tons of room, especially if you are one of those DVC members who stays, you know, for like a week or so. This is a huge plus. Tons of storage space to bring all of your stuff or even, you know, bring tons of stuff back from the parks. In between the closet and the entertainment center, you know, a luggage rack, you know, just in case you got to put your luggage on it. Here is the entertainment center. It is massive. The TV is mounted up against the top part. In the middle here, they have outlets for your charging stuff, as well as the USB outlets. Always a plus in case you forget, you know, those cubes. Those things always go missing. And then tons of storage here in the drawers. 
you know, just little tiny storage cabinets right here. And then you have, oh, that did not sound good. Four drawers here and then two little, you know, open cabinets here at the bottom. A very nice and spacious entertainment center. And just remember everyone, here at Disney World, they do have resort TV. This station automatically comes on when you turn on the TV. When you first check in, it shows you all the different times for water parks. Now Typhoon Lagoon is closed at the moment, but yes, it does show you all the current times for the theme parks each day. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom shows you the weather for today and tonight and the current time. Pretty cool. This also shows you Disney Springs hours as well as shows going on at the parks. Always watch this. This is always very, very good information. Next to the entertainment center, everyone, here is, you know, like a little desk table setup, if you want to call it. Uh, this is where you can, you know, eat food, just relax, sit on your computer, read a book, whatever you want to do. But look at how cool this table is with all the designs on it. Very cool. Obviously, our bags are on there. Don't mind the bags. But here is that. And then here are all the enhanced cleaning of guest rooms. It tells you all the different things that have been cleaned in your room. And then obviously right here, this is the uh, room occupied sign for your door. Just so uh, no, no one bothers you. And then on top right here, another mirror. Across from the entertainment center, everyone, is the bed here with the cool, like, I don't even know what you want to call it. On above the bed really cool designs um even the bed frame is really cool if you guys you know really look into the detail really cool just a bed here and then over here is the couch that you know the pull out couch uh you pull that out these two kind of coffee tables push off to the side and you have those extra pillows and blankets inside the miniature closet so just in case you need this uh pull out couch in case you have more than two people staying here those extra pillows and blankets are in that closet. In between the couch and the bed is the nightstand. You know, have a little more storage space right here. Outlets, you have those USB plugs, remember, just in case you guys forget those cubes. Phone, and then here's just a little take-along guide that you can have and shows you all the different things to do here at Walt Disney World. Pretty cool. And now I'm about to show you all my favorite part of staying at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, the view you get when you book a savannah room it's it's amazing and here we are everyone here is our view from our room savannah view here at disney's animal kingdom lodge kadani village so you guys can see way out there looks like we got some zebra we do have some giraffes out there hopefully they will be roaming around a little later today so we can see them up close and personal emily what do you think i love it here we could sit here all day. And just look at the animals? Yes. I want them to be closer. They'll come. They'll come closer. Giraffe. You want to see the giraffes? Yes. That's my favorite animal. Well, everyone, just out here, we do have two chairs out here for, relax, for relaxing, a little coffee table, and you can just sit out here, relax, and watch the animals just roam around in the savannah, just like Emily's doing. This right here alone is why Disney's the Animal Kingdom Lodge is my favorite resort on Disney property. Where else can you wake up and have zebras, giraffes, whatever other animals are out here? I have to learn more. I even worked here. That's kind of sad. Um, but where else can you wake up? And those are literally right outside your room. Nowhere else. And that is why Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is and will always be my favorite Disney resort. Back to back hotel stays with amazing views. Last week, Aventura. This week, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we did book this room through Emily's cast member discount, which was around 40 to 50% off. We paid $360 just for the one night. So you're looking at around almost $700 a night to stay here in the deluxe studio on the DVC side at Kadani Village. Um, so that's the only reason why we really stayed here is because we could afford it because $700 a night is literally insane. Um, but Animal Kingdom Lodge is my favorite resort. So when we saw it, we definitely had to book. So just want to give you guys a heads up on what the prices would look like without the cast member rate and if you were not DVC. So everyone, that was a quick little tour of our room here at Kadani Village. We are now heading over to the pool, literally. It's not the best water slide here, but it is one of the best water slides on Disney property. 
trust me, I used to work here. It's a lot of fun. Let's head to the pool. And here is the Samawati Springs pool, everyone, at Kadani Village. A tiny pool, but up there is the three-story water slide that goes underneath the bridge. Such a fun water slide. And then you have a water slide over there for the kids. The pool here, everyone, is open from 10 a.m. until 11 p.m. Here at Kadani Village, everyone, at the shallow end of the pool, they also have children's activities so you can play some fun games while you're relaxing here at the pool. Enough time relaxing in the pool, everyone. It is time to head up to the slide. Also here, everyone, at the pool is the Samawati Trading Company. This is a little splash pad, ping pong table for kids. And then on the other side at the playground area, we say a little splash pad. You have some like water guns you can shoot, a slide, and a waterfall. Pretty cool things here. This is such a cool area for all the little ones to come and play. They also have the Manji Pool Bar here where you can get drinks. And they do have a couple items uh, for entrees. Not a lot, but they do have you know salads, sandwiches, and just some quick bites to eat. There is also two different hot tubs here. One below the pool area and one up above the slide. Here is a directory of all of Animal Kingdom Lodge. You have Jumbo House down here, Kadani Village, all the restaurants, things you can do inside of Kadani Village here. This one's a little bit more detailed because we were over at Kadani Village. If we were over at Jumbo, obviously that one would be a lot more detailed. Um, yes, and then also over here to the side, you do have the sports courts. So uh, tennis and basketball. That is gonna be it for today's video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this one. We had a fantastic stay here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village. Now, you all know I had a fantastic time because this is my all-time favorite Disney resort here on property. But I will say one thing, because everything is not open here, there wasn't really much to do. Now, that all does change on August 26th when Jumbo House is officially open. There will be so much more to do. Unfortunately, right now, there wasn't a lot to do. Basically, just the pool. Uh, you can go to Jumbo House and check out the pool over there. The Mara, which is the quick service restaurant over there, is open for breakfast and then dinner. So you kind of have that time in between the day where nothing really is open for food options other than Sanaa here. Uh, in Kidani Village. But other than that, a fantastic stay, another resort with a fantastic view, waking up with giraffes, nothing like it. Literally, the top reason why it's my favorite resort on all of Disney property, no other resort like it. I mean, where else can you wake up with giraffes and zebras and all other animals, you name them. But yes, it was a great stay. I cannot wait to come back here and stay when Jumbo House is open. But for now, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. I wouldn't be able to stay here without each and every single one of you. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. And ring that bell now. Next month in September, we do have one more stay here at a Walt Disney World Resort. Take a guess what it is down below in the comments. It's going to be exciting. I have stayed there before, but it is definitely a fun resort to stay at and definitely an underrated place to stay here at Walt Disney World. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when that video comes out next month. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you all in the next video.